हॅलो आय एम डॉक्टर मंजिरी वळसंकर डायरेक्टर भिडे हॉस्पिटल टेस्टिव्ह बेबी सेंटर नवी पेठ पुणे टुडे लेट अस डिस्कस वॉट विल हॅपन इफ ॲबनॉर्मल कॅरिओ टाईप ऑर डी एन ए पेशंट्स अंडरगो टेस्टिव्ह बेबी now this is one very important factor because abnormal karyotype or dna testing results many a times in miscarriages or failed ivf cycles and so on and so forth now this karyotype is nothing but a blood dna test so before we actually make an embryo we test the father's and the mother's blood dna which will give us an idea about the normalcy of the eggs and the sperms as well as all the tissues in the body so basically a mother should be 46 xx father should be 46 xy we have seen in our practice that there are few patients who have some abnormal karyotypes which means there can be some problem with the chromosomal arrangement or there can be deletion inversion or something which definitely poses a hindrance to child development now whenever we are doing ivf of these kind of patients first and foremost abnormal genetics must go to a geneticist so we always consult the geneticist whether we can use these sperms and eggs to make a healthy embryo or not once the counseling is done if the genetic problem is worth solving or giving it a try then we try with the self cycle test tube baby once the baby is formed any which ways even if one partner has an abnormal karyotype we always suggest a pgta genetic testing of the embryos to see if the baby is chromosomally abnormal or the baby is chromosomally normal and then only embryo transfer is done in cases of patients with absolutely abnormal chromosomes ideally those gametes must not be used to make a child to prevent abnormal babies or abnormal miscarriages and pregnancy related complications so if you are having an abnormal karyotype please discuss this in depth with your geneticist ivf consultant whether it is safe to use your sperms or your eggs to prevent any kind of mishaps or to prevent any kind of abnormalities chromosomally in the baby to be thank you